everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to manage the digital content in Odoo 17 website module. So in Odoo, digital content refers to the product that are intangible and you can sell on online. This typically includes the softwares and apps, ebooks, PDFs that can be videos or audios which are downloadable in nature. And in previous version of Odoo, actually we had a feature of digital content in a website module. But in latest version of Odoo, that is the Odoo 17, offers digital content management automatically. Like if you want to manage the digital content, inside the product tab, you can just find a, a tab called document where you can manage with your digital content. And Odoo basically provide two types of digital content, which is in URL format and the other one is file format. So let's explore how to manage the digital content in Odoo 17 website module. In previous version of Odoo, we had a feature called digital content. But in Odoo 17, uh, that feature is just upgraded and we do not uh, need to manually set the digital content. So let's move on to the website module to manage with the digital content uh, where we are going to consider the product. So for that, we can just move on to the product, show up and here we are going to consider the product uh, Odoo book. So Odoo book is a digital content. We know a digital content um, is the content that are available in digital files. That can be music, podcast, software or videos that are intangible and um, that can be downloaded. And uh, here you can find the digital content which is Odoo's empty uh, enterprise book. And let's want the product to find the details of the product. See, here we have just set the product type as service product, which is based on the ordered quantity, or you can just set uh, other things over here. And you can also set uh, the sales price as well as the cost. And under the sales tab, we also need to um, set the e-commerce shop. Like if you want to just get this um, digital content or this product in a particular website, you can set the website over here. So I need to make it available in all the websites so that I'll be keeping this field as um, null. And you can also see that we have just set a category over here. Now you can also provide the optional products uh, that is the Odoo development and um, accessory products, which is the Odoo uh, accounting. And you can also set the uh, alternative product. Now to manage with the digital content, here you can find a tab, which is document. Uh, so in order to manage with the documents, ensure that you have just enabled or installed the document module. And here you can see we have just created the documents in uh, different formats like uh, that can be URL or a PDF file. And to create a new uh, yeah, uh, digital content or uh, a digital file, you can just click on new way. You can provide the name of the digital file as well as the type. So Odo basically provide two types of digital file, which is file type and uh, URL. So as you just set the URL, you can just provide the URL over here. And here you can see that we can just make it available in the sales with the quotations or in a confirmed order or within um, or inside the card. And if you want to get this uh, digital content on the product page, you can just enable this field so that that will be available in the website. So here, here I have already just uh, created um, two digital contents, which are in, uh, um, yeah, one is in the URL format, the other one is in file format. So here you can see that. Yeah, let's view. So as I have just uh, click on the link, you can see that will be automatically reverting to the uh, site uh, of uh, the digital content. So we can just review everything from here. So here we are back to the page of the digital file. And here you can also find that uh, the Odoo book, which is visible at the confirmed order. So if you want to just change that, you can change it from here. And you can see both will be available in the website as we have just um, enabled the show on product page. And if you want to download uh, this particular file, you can just go to um, download and um, click on download button so that you can just download. Or if you want to just edit these things you can just go to the edit button and make changes over here now let's move on to the product now let's see how the digital content uh, is going to um, work in the website so go to the website as the customer buys the product 
here you can see that either the customer can just add to the uh, card or can directly buy the product so let's uh, buy directly and pay the product uh, pay for the product and once the payment is done you can see that the payment uh, has processed and that has uh, successful now let's move on to the Michelle admin and choose the account under that you can find the sales order where you can choose the sales order over here and as these uh, has the digital files these digital files will be uh, shown over um, I mean in the uh, quotation I mean in the sale order invoices and you can view the documents and if you want to just download the documents or view that you can just click over here so you can see the download starts and if you want to just redirect into the order mastering enterprise you can just click on here so that this will be moving to the link so i hope this video clarifies how to use the digital content and how does it work in odoo and if you want any odoo customizations or any uh, videos regarding odoo feel free to contact cybrosis thank you for watching the video